At the corner of Bleecker Street and Culver Avenue in Utica, a site that had people saying, lions, tigers, and boars, oh my. Not something you normally see in the, in the city. You don't normally see a, a wild pig, and uh, it was a little commotion for the area, I think. Matt Nimey was working on the site of his new car dealership when he heard some rustling in the bushes. At first, he thought it was a bear or a pig from a farm, but after seeing it up close, he knew it was a wild animal. You don't really see any long furred pigs uh, on a farm around this area, and especially with teeth. He said it was a standoff. Utica police surrounded the wild boar and shot it. And now another one is on the loose. We started receiving some calls from people and some photographs, which we you know, distributed to people, of another one, which initially kind of fits what we were told was that there was two of them. Uh, and from the looks of that second photo, it does appear to be a, a different uh, animal. But searching for it is not priority number one for Utica police. At this point, we're going to kind of let it do its thing and hopefully it goes back to where it came from. All joking aside, the State Department of Environmental Conservation says wild boar are something to be taken seriously. The DEC tells me they don't want these animals in the wild. Feral swine compete with deer and turkeys for food eat the eggs of native bird species and have been known to destroy crops and kill young livestock. But Charlie Mannon, who owns Dairy Dell Family Business, says this boar may not be wild. One of his customers told him he was raising it as a pet. He said say it was his and that it got out of his fence. How did he feel about his boar being shot? He didn't believe me. He said that no, it wasn't shot. He said he's going to look for it right now and then I didn't see him again. So I was the bearer of bad news, I guess. <laughs> so the pig in the city saga continues. Reporting in Utica, I'm Dora Scheidel.